Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang similar triangles. Figures are similar if and only if they have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. For example, yung mukha mo ay pinatarpulin mo. So yung size ng mukha mo in real life ay iba na sa size ng nasa tarpulin. Pero, mukha mo pa rin yun. So, isang mukha pa rin yun. Sa triangle, two triangles are similar if and only if the corresponding angles are congruent and the lengths of the corresponding sides are proportional. For example, itong dalawang triangle na to. We have triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. So, magiging similar lang ang triangle ABC at triangle XYZ if and only if angle A is congruent to angle B, angle B is congruent to angle Y, angle C is congruent to angle Z. So, yung corresponding angles niya ay congruent siya. And yung mga sides niya ay proportional. So, AB is proportional to XY. AC is proportional to XZ. And BC is proportional to YZ. Masasabi natin proportional siya kapag AB over XY is equal to AC over XC is equal to BC over YZ. So, itong angle A ay congruent sa angle X. Pareho sila ng measurement. And angle B ay congruent sa angle Y. And itong angle C, pareho silang 90 degrees. Itong angle C at angle Z. So, for example, this is 50 degrees. This is also 50 degrees. If this is 49, uh, 40, if this is 40 degrees, this is also 40 degrees. Example, we have two triangles here. Triangle ABC at triangle DEF. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Now, find the values of X and Y. So, hanapin natin yung values nila. So, itong line BA ay proportional sa line DE. So, that is 3 over X. At itong BC ay proportional sa EF. So, that is 4 over 8. At itong AC ay proportional sa DF. So, that is 5 over Y. I-lowest term muna natin itong 4 over 8. At kapag ni-lowest term natin yan, that is 1 half. I-divide lang natin siya sa GCF niya. Ang GCF nila ay 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, naging 1 half. And then, copy natin yung 3 over x is equal to 1 half and 1 half is equal to 5 over y. Okay, pwede natin paghiwalayin to. Paano? So, that is 3 over x is equal to 1 half and 1 half is equal to 5 over y. Okay, so hanapin muna natin yung x. So, cross multiplication lang natin. So, x times 1, that is x. So, x na lang ito. Then, 3 times 2, that is 6. So, x is equal to 6. y times 1, that is y. And, 2 times 5, that is 10. So, y is equal to 10. So, nahanap na natin yung values ng x and y. Meron din tayong similarity theorem. First theorem, we have AAA similarity theorem or angle-angle-angle. So, dito yung tatlong angle ng triangle ay congruent sa corresponding angle sa isang tri sa pang triangle. For example, itong triangle ABC at triangle DEF. So, angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle F. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Kung meron tayong AAA, meron din tayong AA lang. So, dito, dalawang angle lang ang similar or congruent sa corresponding angle niya. Meron din tayong side angle side similarity theorem or SAS. So, yung dalawang side ay proportional sa corresponding side niya. So, dito, MN ay proportional sa PQ and MO ay proportional sa PR. So, MN 
over PQ is equal to MO over PR. Tapos yung angle sa gitna nila, dalawang pagit, sa pagitan ng dalawang proportional na side, ay congruent. So, angle M is congruent to angle P. So, triangle MNO is similar to triangle PQR. And the next similarity theorem is the SSS or side-side-side similarity theorem. So, dito yung tatlong side ng triangle ay proportional sa corresponding sides ng another triangle. So, we have triangle TUV at triangle XYZ. So, TU over XY is equal to UV over YZ and is equal to TV over XZ. So, triangle TUV is similar to triangle XYZ. So, ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.